cross things off once it's packed. That's kind of how I set up my backpack. I like everything to be super easily accessible. You guys didn't know this, which I feel like I don't share this, or I haven't shared this on my channel. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Welcome to the Costa Rica packing vlog. I'm literally so excited to be filming this because that just means that my trip is so soon. It's on Tuesday and today's Sunday, so I think I have like honestly less than two days. So I need to get packing. I'm kind of like an anxious packer. I just want to make sure that I have everything and like don't miss anything. With that being said, also, I filmed a vlog prior to this one that was like a prep to travel with me type situation where I did laundry. I went shopping for travel essentials. I cleaned up my apartment. I talked about how I'm planning on balancing school and stuff like that. So if you missed that one, go watch that one before this one because a lot of the stuff that I'll be showing in this video, I actually purchased in that vlog literally all of this stuff and i'm not gonna like repeat what it is or do another haul so just go watch that one like i said i'm beginning to pack for costa rica because it's sunday night now but i work tomorrow and then we leave really early on tuesday morning so today's like really my only time to sort of pack sorry i literally just got back from the nail salon and my feet and fingers could not be greasier from the stuff that they put on my hands and feet so i need to actually go get like a napkin and wipe my feet and my hands down first before i even touch anything that was literally such a weird sensation i couldn't even explain what was going on with that but while i was getting my nails done i actually accumulated a packing list in my phone I used to write my packing list down on my iPad and like made it super aesthetically pleasing. If you guys have seen, I think the only other packing video vlog thing that's up on my channel is the one where I went to Myrtle Beach last year. Was that last year? Yeah, last summer with my family. And I did like a super aesthetically pleasing packing list on my iPad, but I just don't have the mental capacity or the time for that for this trip so I just did it in the notes app on my phone and I actually don't mind it in the notes app because you can kind of cross things off once it's packed like if you want to cross something off you literally just click the little dot and it does the check mark so for me it's really convenient I also just like having everything on my phone so like I said I literally just did it while I was at the nail salon I've actually been kind of thinking about things that I want to pack for over a week now so I've started this packing list a while back but I've just been adding to it occasionally and then when I was at the nail salon getting my toes done that's when I really sat down and thought okay what do I need to pack what do I need to bring and not forget so that's where the majority of this came from the first thing that I'm gonna start with and start packing is my toiletry bag if you guys watched the last vlog which you should have you know that I was browsing Amazon for a toiletry bag to put all of this stuff in for Costa Rica. I'm also going to Miami and Virginia and stuff like that. So I just wanted like an overall bag that I could put toiletries in, makeup in, stuff like that. And I found this one from Amazon for a decent price. It's just a little toiletry pouch that has a hook. You can hang it on the back of the bathroom door or wherever. I feel like these are pretty common. But this one is actually so nice. I was not expecting it to be this good of quality. It was only 30 bucks on Amazon. I think it came in multiple colors too. It came in like rose gold and a bunch of other things. So I'm gonna have it linked down below because I would recommend it. It's so nice and look how many pockets it has. It was this bottom one, this second one, which has like pockets within pockets. And then this one that has pockets within pockets within pockets. And then the top one. So I'm gonna use like one section for makeup, one section for hair and shampoo and stuff another section for like other random toiletries and then probably like first aid stuff this was really convenient i'm very very glad that i bought this i just need to figure out how i kind of want to go about organizing all of it like i showed you before everything sitting on the table toiletry wise well the majority of it i have a few things that are in my bathroom right now that i won't be able to pack until the morning of it's like deodorant and dry shampoo and thing oh a hairbrush um and i'm not gonna be able to pack that until the morning of my flight because i obviously need all that stuff until i leave so those are like the few things that'll be left off to the side but for the most part i have everything here so i just am gonna figure out how i want to go about organizing this bag and like what sections i want things to be in i'm the type of person that like really likes to have things super organized so i know that where everything is there's nothing worse than going on a trip and getting there and everything just being all over the place. I do the same thing, the same system and stuff like that with my suitcase. So you guys will see that too in this video later on when I pack my suitcase. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with this. I'll do like a little montage clip of me 
figuring everything out and then I'll explain it at the end so that maybe you guys can get like a better idea or if you need tips, tricks, or like just a general idea of how to pack a toiletry bag, you can refer back to this video. Up in the top portion I think I'm gonna just bring like mascara foundation and a few other things nothing too crazy because I'm not a big makeup gal as it is but this little bag fit so much stuff I'm so surprised I haven't tried to zip it up yet but I really don't think it's gonna be a problem down here I just put like q-tips makeup wipes ibuprofen band-aids and a bunch of other little things here is mostly my shower stuff so I put like my shampoo face wash face lotion razor perfume chapstick and stuff like that and then up here i have a bunch of different sunscreens bug spray cortisone cream toothpaste toothbrush and yeah so i'm like genuinely like very shocked that everything fit when i started putting stuff in i wasn't sure if it was going to but i just feel like i did such a good job this was a great investment i'm so impressed with the quality and just how much it fits and then it's gonna fit in my suitcase perfectly so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my makeup stuff from under the sink because I probably won't wear makeup tomorrow and obviously I'm not gonna wear it on the plate so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that so that I don't forget any of it as well my makeup up here the only thing that didn't fit was my foundation but it was able to fit in this pouch so that worked out perfectly now to try and close it I feel like this is gonna be the real test on whether or not this was worth the investment because if it doesn't close we're gonna have a problem Wow, that's good. This is worth it, 100%. It closed and everything. It's definitely a little bit on the bulkier side. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but you also saw literally how much stuff that I put in it. So I'm not too concerned. Also, my suitcase is massive, so. Dang. Okay. Okay, so now that I've packed all my toiletries, I'm just gonna go back to that list and start checking things off so that I know whether or not I'm missing anything. So bug spray, sunscreen, deodorant. I'm gonna have to put on the morning of list. I make like two separate lists. So I make the packing list and then obviously some stuff I have to leave out until the morning of the flight, like deodorant, sometimes toothbrush and toothpaste dry shampoo and brush and stuff like that so i'll make like a morning of list just for like right before i head out for the door just to make sure that i have everything so deodorant's gonna have to go on the morning of list so it's dry shampoo i have perfume shampoo and conditioner and then curling iron is right here but that's gonna go in my suitcase i didn't know whether or not that was gonna fit in the toiletry bag and it didn't in this case so i'm just going to put it under the suitcase section. That's like another thing that I did. I don't know if I showed that. I broke the, everything down into sections. So the packing list itself has lists within it. So the top portion is backpack stuff. Second portion is toiletry bag. As you can see, I knocked a lot of things off the list. And then the second portion is suitcase stuff. This isn't all the stuff that I'm packing in my suitcase. I will be packing a lot more, but that's everything that I could think of off the top of my head that I knew that I needed. And as I start packing, I'm sure I'll remember other things, but this was like the only thing that I could think of when I was sitting in the nail salon and like brainstorming and stuff like that. 
So I have like three different lists that I go off of just because I'm gonna have like three different bags that I'll bring with me. All right, now it's time to get this bad boy out of the corner. It just sits here because I don't have any other space for in my apartment. <laughs> so I'm actually glad that I can finally use it. This is the Away suitcase. I'll show you the whole thing once I get it out. But I got this for my birthday and I haven't been able to use it because obviously we haven't been traveling. And so I am literally so excited to finally be able to use this and pack it. It's just so aesthetically pleasing and the way that it's separated on the inside is perfect. I just need to get this out. Alright, I need to put the camera down to get this out. I was just talking to my camera for literally three minutes and it wasn't even recording. But I got my suitcase out. I just wiped it down with a Lysol wipe because it was kind of gross. It was sitting in that corner for a while so it was dusty. But now she's all clean. I know white is like a risky color for a suitcase but I actually really like it. I think it just goes with my vibe really well. So... I'm a fan personally, and I'm really excited for you guys to see the inside of it. If you've never seen an away suitcase before, they're elite. All right, I just took a quick break to eat dinner. Wow, this lighting is awful. I was starving, and I also just wanted to lay in bed and watch vlogs for like 30 minutes, so that's what I did. But I'm getting ready to obviously pack my suitcase, but before I even open it, just because it takes up so much space, I'm gonna lay everything out of my bed so that once it's on my bed, it can just go directly in my suitcase. So as you guys have seen the list multiple times and how I divided it, I do have like a suitcase section on the list. So I'm just going to go through everything that I put on the suitcase portion of the list and find it and then like put it on my bed and then organize it after. I'll probably end up organizing things by day and outfit so that I make sure that I have enough clothes for each day. I think we're going to be there for like seven days. And I know for a fact we're doing like some excursions some days, we're just doing like beach days other days, so what I wear will depend on like what we're doing. And so I have a general idea for it, but I just want to like lay everything out and see it and like potentially try some things on before I put it in my suitcase so that I know I'm not forgetting anything and like, can visually see everything laid out. <laughs> everything laid out for the most part I have all of my sports slash workout attire for the days that we're going on like the excursions and just for chill days this is all of my bikini stuff so I'm bringing one two three four five bikinis and three different little cover-ups I have one two three four five six different outfits for like dinner outfits or whatever I'm not really entirely sure what we're doing Sorry, I forgot that the AC was on, so that was probably really annoying, but I just turned it off. I don't really know what we're doing at nighttime slash for dinners, but I figured I would bring some like dressier clothes. So I brought a little black dress, a white dress. I bought some pants with a white top. A lot of the stuff I showed in my vacation haul, so I'm going to link that actually above. So if you want to see like the outfits that I plan on wearing or some of the outfits that I plan on wearing, just go back and watch that video so I don't have to explain it here. Pajamas, bras, underwear, socks, um, one sweatshirt, one rain jacket because we are going to be literally in the rainforest, a toiletry bag, curling iron, some little hair clips, and I'm sure I'll think of some other things that I'm missing or that I want to bring, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Oh, also shoes. I just obviously didn't want to put these on my bed, but I'm going to bring Air Force Ones as my street shoes, and then sandals, white flip-flops, and then... I'm just gonna wear my tennis shoes that we're gonna hike in on the plane. So for the most part, everything that's gonna go in my suitcase is all laid out. I just need to do the actual packing within the suitcase, which I think I can go ahead and do now. I don't see why I shouldn't, so I'll open this up for you guys. We'll do a little suitcase tour, in case you've never seen an away suitcase before. So this is what the inside of it looks like. It's literally massive. So we have this whole section that I'll probably do toiletries, shoes, and stuff like that in. And then there's this section. There's literally a little 
divider. I actually don't really know what this is for. I guess you could like divide the clothes even further. I don't really know, but it's a little divider. And then we have this big section and obviously the straps to strap everything in. And then I think that this is... Yeah, this is an attachable bag, so I think that you can put laundry and stuff in this, or shoes. Honestly, I might put my shoes in here, so that it doesn't get the actual suitcase dirty. I don't know. I like the inside of the suitcase, though, because it is, like, very cleanable material. Does that make any sense? I feel like you can take easily take, like, a Lysol wipe or something to this and clean it up if needed. It's not cloth or anything that's hard to clean and it's like made to be like very lightweight and just easily accessible so i've never packed in this before but i'm excited to try and pack in this so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do that now i really don't have any method to the madness as far as what i'm gonna do here i typically categorize my clothing items within suitcases so i'll put pajamas in one section socks underwear bras in another section workout clothes in another section, day, nighttime clothes, bikinis, so on and so forth. I don't do it by day. I know that some people do it by day, so they'll be like day one, day two, day three, day four, but I am just not that organized, nor do I know that far ahead, so I categorize it by, I guess, like the type of clothing item or the type of stuff that's taking place. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to figure that out now. Wish me luck because this looks a little bit stressful. <laughs> was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be so I just put my jackets and sweatshirt and curling iron in this corner I have all of my shoes that I'm bringing I might throw another pair in there just because I have a lot of room and typically I like overpack shoes but in this case I think I may be underpacking just in general so I might toss some things in here like before we leave or as I think of things toiletry bag bra underwear socks and then on this side I have I clipped this preemptively let me unclip this. <laughs> I have all of my normal clothes. So I have daytime slash dinner clothes. I have bikinis, cover-ups, pajamas. And then that was all my workout attire. Like I said, I really feel like I'm underpacking. And I feel like I'm missing something. I'm not entirely sure. I typically overpack. But in this case, I think I might be underpacking. So I may just like try to use tonight to brainstorm and tomorrow to brainstorm. And then, then pack some last-minute items. But this was everything that was on my list as far as suitcase and toiletry stuff goes. And then I have some stuff that I need to throw in there last minute that's in my bathroom. Dry shampoo and then my brush and stuff like that. So that'll fit in here as well. But that won't go on my suitcase until the morning that we leave because I need it that morning. So I don't know. I feel like I'm underpacking and like need to add a few things, but we'll see. Overall though, I feel like this suitcase is so spacious and it made it so easy to organize everything and i don't even really think that i'm using it to its fullest potential i should like watch a youtube video on the away suitcase or something or like watch someone else's packing vlog because i feel like i'm missing some aspects of it that could be very beneficial in this case but i'm not i'm not really sure for me it was easy this is the first time like i've officially fully used it other than that it's just been sitting there but I'm impressed. I think that this is definitely like worth the money. Obviously, you can find cheaper suitcases on Amazon or like Walmart, Target or something like that. But for me, as someone that loves to travel and always travels, it's literally like my favorite thing to do in the entire world is travel and see new places and stuff like that. I just find it that investing in a suitcase that's going to hold up, that has warranty, that is easy to organize is works in my favor, especially if I plan on traveling a lot. So, I don't know. I really love it. I'm obsessed with this now, and I think that it's worth it. That's just my personal opinion on the way suitcase so far. I actually want to look into the little, what are they called? Carry-on away suitcases. Maybe that's an investment that's in my future, too. 
It's the next day. I took a break from packing last night just because I was not vibing with it anymore. But and I also knew the majority of stuff that I needed to pack in my backpack for today, like the day before we leave for the trip, wasn't going to be able to be put in my backpack until today because I'm like obviously using my work laptop, which I'm bringing with me just in case. My personal laptop I'm using for schoolwork and YouTube and stuff like that. And then I just wanted to make sure that I didn't want to use like the switch or anything else last night. So I waited until today to pack my actual backpack. But I'm actually going to begin doing that now. I've rounded up a bunch of stuff. This has been my go-to packing table clearly because I put my toiletries on here before. But I kind of just want to go over a little bit of like what I'm packing in my backpack. So obviously I have the Nintendo Switch. Honestly, you guys are probably going to laugh at us for bringing that on the flight, but this is just such a good downtime activity and plane activity. I think the plane to Costa Rica is five hours long, so we need some way to entertain ourselves, and we play like the two-person player game on the Nintendo Switch and like have a bunch of games on it, so for us, we love to bring this whenever we travel. One of those things, and obviously I have my passport, wallet. I wanted to bring my blue light glasses because your girl is sometimes blind without her glasses on. I'm probably also going to bring some contacts. I wanted to bring a reusable face mask along with face masks that I can throw away if they get dirty. I have tissues, sunglasses, wet ones, first aid kit, hair ties, cliff bars for the hikes slash snacks on the plane. This is the case that I'm going to be using this camera in so obviously I can't pack this until I'm done filming this video. And what other, other than that, I have like Purell, ibuprofen, my AirPods, obviously. And then I'm also going to bring some jewelry with me on the plane. I don't trust it in my suitcase, just in case my suitcase gets lost. I don't want to put anything in there that's valuable or that I like love. And I, I'm obsessed with this necklace, so you guys know that if I lost it, I would be really sad. And then a reusable water bottle for when we go on hikes and stuff like that. So this is the kind of the overview of what I'm bringing in my backpack. In addition to this, I'm also bringing my work laptop, which I'm using right now, my personal laptop, which I'm using right now, the cords for both of them, and I think that a few other things I actually need to go through my list. But for now, I'm just going to start by organizing this and putting it in my backpack. So I put everything that I'm gonna pack in my suitcase over here. I need to reopen that bag and put everything from here into there. I left out, wait, I need to put this on the side. I'll put it in after, <laughs> I need two hands for that. I decided to put all of my cords and stuff like that in this bag so that they're all in one place. So I'm gonna put my laptop cord in here when I'm done with it, my Mac cord, my iPhone charger, and another USB cord that I have over there along with my portable charger. So it's gonna be like my electronics cord bag just so it's all in one place. I also have this camera case, which I need to put this vlog camera in after. And then the way that I decided to organize this, my, this front pocket, I didn't want to put like super important stuff in the front pocket, you know, just in case someone decides to be rude and like pickpocket or something. So I just put like hand sanitizer, chapstick, hair ties, ibuprofen, and tissues in the front pocket. And then in here I put masks, wet wipes. In here is all of my super important documentation, so passport, credit cards, wallet, AirPods. Then I put glasses and then other miscellaneous stuff. So I have my tripod in here and then the first aid kit here. And then this is where all of my bigger electronics are going to go. So I put the Nintendo Switch in here for now. But my laptops will obviously go in here. This bag will go in here. And then the water bottle is going to go on the side of my backpack when I get a chance. That's kind of how I set up my backpack. I like everything to be super easily accessible. And I like to know where everything is and have it super organized. So that's just like my method to my madness for my carry-on backpack. I think I'm going to go ahead and open up my suitcase now and put these in there. I knew that having extra space in my suitcase was going to come in handy because I figured there would be stuff that I would want to put in there that I didn't want to carry on the plane with and look at that. There is. That is done. I'm gonna take a look at the list. My phone, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Passport, ooh, vaccine card, I need that. All right, I have vaccine card along with my insurance cards, Nintendo Switch, vlog camera you guys are on. So 
so I have everything that I need for the most part on this list but after I finish my master list I make a next morning list so I'm gonna go ahead and start my next morning list and just move everything over from the other list to this list that I didn't check off so vlog camera vlog camera charging cord cord This is what my next morning list looks like. As you guys can see, this is everything that I would need to grab right before we leave. So all the stuff that I need tonight and, and like need to use tomorrow morning that I don't want to forget, I throw into this list and then I just go over it quickly before I head out. So I think that for the most part, I'm pretty much all done packing. Other things that I do to like kind of prep for the trip beforehand, I just make sure that all the dishes in the dishwasher are clean and put away. I make sure that my both my ACs are off, all the windows and blinds are closed, you know, save energy. I make sure everything else is off. I make sure to take the trash can out because I live in a small apartment, so if I don't, it gets stinky in here fast. And then other things, I just make sure it's like a very clean space to not only leave but come back to. I don't want any critters in my apartment while I'm gone. Even though I'll only be gone for a week, like you literally, you never know. So just make sure everything's clean, everything's put away, and then to go over that list one more time before I leave. But I have done this that way for as long as I can remember. I get it from my parents for sure. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, which I feel like I don't share this or I haven't shared this on my channel, I grew up as a military child, so I was moving every two to three years for the majority of my life until I was 18. And then after that, my dad retired from the military and we stopped moving and we made Virginia our home base. But prior to that, we were moving every two to three years. So packing and organizing and stuff like that comes naturally to me because I don't know any different. That was something I was so used to for such a large portion of my life. So it comes as like second nature to me. That's why I'm like, I kind of like it. I kind of enjoy it. And I'm like good at it. It doesn't stress me out just because I did it for literally so long. That's some information on me if you guys didn't know that. I, yeah, I moved so much growing up and I loved it. That's also why I love traveling so much is because we traveled and moved constantly that now I have a hard time sitting still in one place. <laughs> so thank you mom and dad for that one. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end off this packing vlog. I am so excited to be able to go on this trip tomorrow and to start the Costa Rica vlog. So if you guys are not subscribed already, you should subscribe down below so you don't miss the Costa Rica vlogs that are coming your way soon. Unsure if I'm going to be filming one vlog or make it into two. It just depends on how much content I get there. I also want to try to live in the moment, so we shall see. But I am so excited to take you guys along with me and I'm glad that you guys stuck along with me through this entire packing journey process. I'm so glad that traveling is a thing again and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it doesn't get shut down again. But even if it does, I guess I got this one trip in before it everything shuts down again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in Costa Rica. Bye.